Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I have talked about Thanos pricing plan before in one of my weekly productivity news, but today I am going to take a deeper dive into uh, Tana, its pricing plan and what it is offering because right now uh, it is still uh, free, but it has introduced their pro plans which is ten dollars each month if billed yearly or twelve dollars if billed monthly and this is their uh early access pricing but they have uh another price plan here as well which is the actual pricing core not the pioneer pricing so this is called the core pioneer pricing which just means early access pricing but the core pricing will actually be $14 each month if billed yearly or $18 uh, each month if billed monthly which is quite expensive especially the monthly plan is really expensive and compared to the rest of the market this is kind of expensive but they are offering a lot with this new introduction of the pro plan and we are going to take a look at some of the things they are actually offering and Brage explained this quite well in this video but I am just going to cover a few things. So we have a Tana AI chat which is basically like having chat GPT within your uh, note taking app which is something a lot of apps are starting to offer but we also have the Tana meeting agent which actually allows you to um, have uh, Tana inside of your different meetings so this works in uh, it works in Google Meet it works in Zoom and it works in Microsoft Teams as well the last one is actually the one I use uh, but the way this works is that it transcribes your meetings and it also figures out the people that are inside the meeting and give them the right tag as well as list up action items so let's just take a look at this so this is right uh this is the meeting agent uh right here which just uh, makes it a lot easier for you to have everything in a centralized place and I will get back to why that is really important later but as you can see the way it works is that you can invite it into your uh, meetings by pressing add meeting agent and it gives you the names of the participants it transcribes everything uh, and it does it quite well. I am guessing they are using the Whisper integration from uh, OpenAI. But as you can see, uh, they have uh, discovered items, action items, summary, and it generates all of this quite well. And Tana is quite flexible, so you can do a lot with all of uh, these things. But this is how um, the meeting agent uh, works but as i said there is a chat here as well basically having a uh, chat uh, gpt or any ai model inside of your note taking app this is great but this is something every single app has um, but there are a couple of things a uh, couple of more things as well you have the ability to actually chat with your notes which is again a huge thing uh, this is something i'm guessing that most note-taking apps will have in the future uh, actually most productivity apps will have in the future i think this is the way productivity apps uh, will work in the future the ability to chat with your notes and the things you have written down and you also have the ability to get help with just finishing sentences this is actually something i have never used inside of any application uh, any uh, ai application but i know that a lot of people do like it so let's jump forward uh, uh, we have live transcription this is also huge because right now people are using different applications to do all of uh, these 
things let me just show you here so i use an app called voice notes ai to actually do transcriptions for me uh, and record them and this has a chat feature as well but what tana is doing is actually putting everything into one place so a lot of people a lot of knowledge workers have struggled with the fact that you actually have to use multiple apps in order to get a system that you want uh, so in my case there is multiple apps there is project management app there is note taking apps one app to actually um to actually transcribe my voice and i know that a lot of people have the same even one app to join the meetings and transcribe the meetings for you tana is trying to actually be an all-in-one workspace and we have a couple of all-in-one workspaces uh, apps that work as all-in-one uh, workspaces right now we have things like notion uh, we have um things like ClickUp, those are like all-in-one solutions, but they do not actually offer all of the things that Tana is offering right here. Uh, and that's why I think the pricing is uh, justified. If you just think about it, if you were to have one note-taking app and one app for transcribing your uh, voice, one app to actually... Um, join your meetings and transcribe your meetings and you had a chat gpt subscription as well to be able to use chat gpt and if you add all of these things up together it actually is uh, a lot higher than uh, investing in tana uh, core which is their pro plan uh, so i would say that the pricing is kind of justified uh, because they are offering so much uh, everything from uh, live transcriptions to being able to uh, have this in your meeting and work as a literal personal assistant you can build your own ai agents inside of here as well uh, and the app in general is uh, just great uh, you have the ability to both use this as a researching tool with the ability to link different things together and find things and have serendipity through actually backlinking everything together but you also have the ability to show all of this in more of a structured uh, way which the databases work as and this is done through using the uh, super tags and it has actually become a lot easier to use the super tags now than it was before uh, before you had to it was harder that's my point I actually don't remember how you did it before uh, but it has become a lot easier to actually use the to use uh, the super tags as well which is uh, really important because you want people to actually um, use apps like this uh, and making them easier is like it is something that it is something that is really under communicated uh, in the productivity space because a lot of the productivity nerds like myself are quite familiar with a lot of these applications but in order to make them mainstream and especially for uh, business use cases to offer uh, these to businesses uh, you actually have to make them easier to use so people will use them that's at least something i have thought about but it is becoming easier to uh, use and uh, it also just offers a lot that's why i think the price is justified even though i think it is a little pricey and i won't personally be paying for the pro plan of uh, tana simply because i'm not a big fan of outliner applications but if i was this would probably be uh, one of the apps i would look 
into because it is a really good application. Anyways, that was all I had for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.